Hello and good afternoon. Um, here where I'm at, it's raining. You can probably hear it hitting the top of the car right now. Um, so it's kind of a gloomy day. I've had a lot of stuff on my mind and my heart the last few days. And figured I'd just come on here and speak a word, what God's talking. Um, sometimes we just need a little encouragement. I know right now... I look like a hot mess. My hair's not fixed because it's been rained on. I'm not wearing makeup, but I'm not here to be pretty. I'm not here to be cute. I'm here to be real. A lot of people won't post things when they're struggling. They won't post about the problems they have. They won't post about the lessons they've had to learn the hard way. They don't want people to think that they're imperfect, even though we all already know that we are. They don't want to talk about their struggles. They don't want to talk about the hard times. They don't want to talk about the things that they didn't want to happen or the things that didn't go quite the way we wanted it to. But I'm real. My life is far from perfect. I am far from perfect. Things don't always go my way. Sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I say things that I shouldn't, do things that I shouldn't. Sometimes I don't do things that I should as quickly as I should. All that being said, Sometimes there's a time and a place to open your mouth and there's a time and a place to simply be still and be quiet. It's hard sometimes to keep your tongue when people are running your name in the dirt and especially when it's based off of lies, whether it be from jealousy, whether it be from anger, whatever their motives are. Sometimes it's hard to keep your mouth shut when things are being said, especially when it's in a public forum or on a public forum, however you want to say it. Um, but Exodus 14, 14 is a constant reminder to me, and I go back to that verse a lot, that I don't always have to open my mouth. I don't always have to be the one that defends my name. I don't always have to rebuttal everything that's said about me. Some things are not meant for me to hear. Some things are not meant for me to know. Some things are not meant for me to understand. And try as I may, as much as I pray, some people simply aren't going to be good people. Some simply are not going to be honest. Some are not going to do the right thing. I can't control what other people say or do. I'm not responsible for their actions or their words but I am responsible for my own, and that includes how I react to them, if I react to them at all. Exodus 14, 14 assures me that I can keep my mouth closed, that I can keep my hands to myself, that I can do absolutely nothing, and that God will fight for me. And sometimes that's harder to do than others. But I've learned that they don't always have to hear your side of the story. Some aren't going to believe it anyways, even if you had it in black and white to prove it right in front of their face. Some people feel the need to tear others down, break them down, whether it's truth, whether it's not truth, whether, you know, regardless of the methods, regardless of the means, they feel better about themselves in some way by tearing somebody else down. Me, I can't. I can't do that. I'm not like that. I feel better praying for somebody. And sometimes it's hard to pray for somebody when they're hurting you or when they're coming against you, when they're viciously attacking you for no reason. It's not always easy to pray for them. But the Bible says to pray for our enemies, to love our enemies. That doesn't mean just love those who are nice to us. That doesn't mean just love those who are lifting us up those who are nice to our face, those who say, I love you, sis. You're a great woman of God. I love what you do. I love this. I love that. It's easy to love those people. It's not as easy to love those that you know have a knife in your back or are trying to put a knife in your back. It's not easy to love those who repeatedly keep making bad decisions and attacking you for no reason. Especially when you know the reason that they're attacking you or saying what they're saying is because you spoke some truth and they don't like it. They don't want to change what they're doing. They don't want to be accountable for their mistakes or whatever it is that they did, depending on the situation. 
but we can't change who we are. I'm trying to remember the exact wording of that phrase that I saw a while back. We cannot let the nature of the snake change our nature, which is supposed to be to love, to give, and to help. The nature of the snake is to bite, regardless of how many times he's going to bite every time. And we can't allow the nature of the snake, which is to bite, to change our nature, which is supposed to be to be Christ-like, to love one another, to pray for one another, to lift them up, to help them. Those of us that have went through a storm, those of us that have been in the fire and God has brought us out, it's our responsibility to reach back in and get others to help them out. But sometimes some people don't want that. Just like the snake that was in the fire, some people don't want their help. Some people don't want your help. They want your sympathy. They want to be higher up than you or for others to think that they're higher up or better than you. And to me, that's sad. It's a very sad existence if that's what you're doing, if that's how you live, to put other people down, to attack other people, to constantly stepping on other people to try to make yourself look bigger or better in some way. Because, let me tell you, it doesn't. God sees exactly what you're doing. He hears every word you're speaking. Whether the person you're speaking it about hears it or not, he hears it. He knows what you're doing behind closed doors. He knows what you're saying when they're not in earshot of your conversation. He knows. And for those quote-unquote Christians that call themselves Christians and spend their days doing this, God sees it. The scripture touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Some would do very good to remember that scripture, to pray, and to really dig within themselves, look within their own heart. Every time something happens, I've found myself repeating over and over again, this is just a test. It's not permanent. It's a test. Am I going to pass this test today or am I going to fail it? Am I going to respond and attack back? Am I going to be still and let God handle it? Does it hurt sometimes? Oh yes, I'd be a liar if I said that it didn't. But is my skin nearly as thin as what it used to be? No. It hurts in a different way now. Not just hurting my feelings, but it hurts my heart that people call themselves Christians and treat other people that way. That you call yourself a Christian and you feel the need to tear other people down. I don't have a nice car. I don't have a nice house. I don't wear brand name clothes. I don't look like a supermodel. I realize that I'm not every cup, everyone's cup of tea and that's okay. I wasn't created to be. I was not created to be like everyone else. I was created to stand apart, to be different. God called me to do different things than he called you to do. But simply because I'm different than you are, or I do things differently, doesn't mean that I attack you or say that you're wrong, that you're fake, that you're this or that you're that. Because I'm not your judge. God is. I will pray for you. And I pray for those out there that are going through a similar situation. Maybe even exactly the same situation. I know I'm not the only one. I'm not at all on here trying to get pity. I'm not out for sympathy. I'm simply stating, being a woman of God, my life is not perfect. Things go wrong. Things happen. I get hurt. I make mistakes just like anybody else. But I'm woman enough to be real about it. I'm woman enough to say... Sometimes I need prayer. Sometimes I need encouragement, just like everybody else. So I came here today to say for those of you that are struggling, whether you be a man, whether you be a woman, it doesn't matter because we all go through things. No one is better than the other. No one is worse or less than than the other. We all go through things. We all go through different situations. We all have people that come against us, and we all have lessons to learn. Sometimes we learn them the first time. Sometimes we have to circle around the foot of that mountain seven or eight times before God finally gets it through our head. This is what I have for you, and this is not what I have for you. I've been in both places. Some lessons I've learned quickly and easily the first time. Other lessons, I had to do some serious walking. 
and some praying and some soul searching. So for those of you out there today who simply need a little encouragement, who need that reminder that sometimes we can be still, sometimes we can be quiet, and God's going to move for us anyways. We don't have to justify our words. We don't have to justify our actions. We don't have to fight to put our side of the story out there because all that's doing is making us look like just as much of a child as the person that started the argument in the first place. It takes two to argue. So if you keep your mouth shut, if you keep your tongue, if you stay out of the situation regardless of what they're saying about you, you let it go, you pray for them. You ask God to fight for you. He will close their mouth. The truth will be revealed because he says in his word, all things done in darkness shall be brought to light. I firmly believe that. I am a firm believer in that. I've seen it over and over and over again. So in closing, and that's one, in closing, know that God loves you. He sees every single tear that you've cried. He heard every single word that they've spoken about you. He's seen everything that they've done. They've tried and they've tried to stop you. They've tried to hinder you. They've tried to break you. But greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. He is stronger than all of that. And because he lives within you, you are stronger than that. You are stronger than the mess. You can rise above it. Pray for them. Love them. Pray for God to bless them. Bless them more than they can even handle. He will fight for you, and he fights far better than we ever could. I love you, and I, God bless you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.